Okay, so welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be looking at the visual demonstration of how blockchain work. And this is the last video of uh, section 1. We will be starting uh, section 2 from the next video. So for demo, I am using this website andersbrownwood.com. You can also visit here and try on your own. So let's start with the SATU 6 s We know SATU 6 s is always 65 characters long. And hash is a unique fixed length of string. For unique data, we must have unique hash. It's like the fingerprint of the digital information. So for unique data, we have unique hash. Okay. And also for same data, we must have same hash. So for data Roman, we have this hash. Now if I again type Roman, the same hash must be generated. Yeah, the hash is same for the same data. Uh, this is the deterministic property if you remember and another property of hash is no matter the size of data the length of hash is always 64 characters it doesn't matter with the size the hash is always 64 characters okay, so this is all about hash i guess now let's move toward the block okay so here on block we have this uh, single block i guess yeah we have block number field, nonce field, data field and hash field. Uh, we do not have previous hash field since there is no any previous block. So this is a block representation. And we know our hash is generated through block, nonce, data and previous hash. So we do not have previous hash or we will generate with block, nonce and data. So let's say for row man, uh, let's generate the valid hash. You know the valid hash uh, that has that lies below the target. We need to find the nonce that generates the valid hash. So it's taking some time. So here is the valid hash with four leading zeros, and you can see the value of nonce has also been changed. So uh, behind the scene, what miners are doing is. Uh, they are iterating the value of nonce. Uh, they start from 1, 2, 3, 4, then uh, okay, go on, go on. And finally, when they reach uh, this one, boom, we get a valid as. So, this is all about block. Uh, let's see about the blockchain now. So, we have a blockchain uh, with okay, five numbers of block, and they are cryptographically linked. Uh, we can see the previous as for first block is null since uh, okay it is called the genesis block for second block we have the previous has uh, the has of block number one and similarly for the rest so we have five block let's start with adding some data to our blockchain so it will be easy uh, to understand yeah here 10 20 okay. so I have added this data to the blockchain 10 20 30 40 and 50 so now let's try tampering one of the block let's tamper the second block and instead of 20 uh, let's put uh, 50 uh, now you can see as soon as I have entered 50 the block goes red uh, representing uh, the block has been tampered or invalid so it affects the whole chain from the block 2 to the block 5 all are red representing the chain has been invalid so what I need to do is I need to uh, regenerate the hash that generate the valid hash that lies below the target so we got uh, another nonce value 810 but if you look at block number 3 it's still red the previous hash uh, does not match with the hash of the previous block so it's red to make it valid we must also regenerate block 3 And similarly for rest so 
So our blockchain is now valid. We have recalculated the hash from block number 2 to the block number 5. So this is the case how you tamper data in the blockchain. You have to recalculate the hash from the block you tampered to the whole blockchain following that block. So it is not an easy work. You have to calculate uh, the hash and it takes lots of time and power. And also there won't be 5 block. There will be hundreds of thousands of block. So it is difficult. Cannot say impossible. But it is difficult. So this is about blockchain. Uh, how it maintains immutability. And also we haven't looked at the distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. Which we will look right now. Okay so uh, we have this distributed peer-to-peer -peer network. Uh, we have peer A with uh, 5 blocks, peer B with I guess also 5 blocks and then peer C with 5 blocks. Okay, so uh, this is the valid blockchain till now. Uh, let's uh, tamper one of the block. Let's tamper this one. Let's type 70 here. As soon as I type 70, the hash of the block changes and make it invalid and so the remaining blocks in the chain are invalid as they are cryptographically linked together the previous hash does not match with the hash of the previous block so in order to temper block 2 we have to recalculate the hash of the block okay so block 2 is now valid but still remaining blocks in the chains are invalid we also need to recalculate hash of the all remaining blocks in the chain in order to temper block 2 since we have just 5 block, it is easy to recalculate hash, but in real there are hundreds of thousands of block. So it is not possible to recalculate hash of those block. Theoretically it may be possible, but practically it is not possible. So blockchain of peer A is now valid. We have successfully tampered block 2. Uh, as we have only 5 block. But since we are talking about distributed peer-to-peer -peer network, if you look at peer B and peer C, as of block 2 for peer C is 4, 0, then 1. And similarly for the peer B, it is 4, 0, then 1. So they are matching. But for peer A, the hash of block 2 is different. It's 4, 0, then 8. So we have conflict here. And as per the majority, peer B and peer C have the majority. So the blockchain of peer A is considered as tampered chain and it is discarded. So even if one chain is compromised, it does not affect the whole network. That's why blockchain is secured. In order to tamper a block in the blockchain, the hash of that block need to be recalculated along with the remaining blocks in the chain and the same must be performed on at least 51% of peers of the whole network. So we can get the majority which is not possible as there are thousands of millions of peers in the network. So this is the beauty of blockchain and the demo. I hope you have understood it. Come to this site and try on your own. And on this note, I will see you in the next video in section 2.